Hi guys, I'm Mary Helen, and I'm excited to talk to you today about postnatal fitness and sort of that process um, of getting your body moving again after you have a baby. I'm here with baby Emmanuel. He's about eight and a half months old, eight months old, and this is my fourth little one. So I'm just enjoying all the snuggles and he's a really calm, happy little guy. It's been, it's been such a sweet time. Very um, busy and so sleepy. I'm very sleepy, but it's also been a lot of fun. So having been through now four pregnancies, four births, and that process of building back strength um, after a delivery for the fourth time, I'll tell you, with each baby, it definitely doesn't get easier. Um, pregnancy is hard on the body and the recovery is long and it's very slow and it's something that takes a lot of patience and a lot of grace. Um, when you're approaching your body, you know, it, there's a strange sort of period where you go through this long pregnancy, you have, and it's very gradual, um, a very gradual process of the way that your body changes and the way that the baby's growing. Um, and you've got like a lot of preparation for it. And then there's the birth and suddenly the baby's here and it is such a blessing and so exciting, but it's really hard too. And one of the things that for me is, has been sort of the most shocking in that process um, hi. Now four times in is that, you know, it, the healing process for your body, how slow it is and how that can also really challenge you. For me, you know, it's, um, it, I think it can be hard when you see a lot of people on social media and, or maybe, you know, it's family or it's friends that you see who are bouncing back really, really fast. And in those first weeks, you know, or days after having a baby, you'll see them and it looks like they never had a baby at all. And me, for me, that was not my personal experience. And I was really surprised by it the first time, um, by how swollen my stomach was after I had the baby for days, for weeks, really for months. Um, and even this fourth time, you know, I knew going in that this was going to be hard on the stomach and hard on recovering that part of my body. <laughs> and it definitely, it definitely has been. And I feel like I'm, you know, at eight months, eight months now, we're really sort of in kind of the middle of that process, I feel. And I still have a lot of work to do on getting my core healed, getting those muscles strong again. And, um, you know, I'm still correcting a little bit of that separation with, with the muscles. And each baby for me, I've found was, you know, a little, it's a little bit more challenging because your body's a little bit more fatigued. You know, those muscles are a little bit more stretched out. And, um, but just, just sort of thinking about the fact that, that it's a slow process and understanding that that's normal and that that's healthy. Um, I've had, with my first, I had a C-section, and with the following three, was really blessed to have three um, great and very successful VBACs, which is a vaginal birth after cesarean. So, so four very different births all together, but each time that sort of process of healing has been slow. And for me, taken excuse me, well over, well over a year each time. And so that's something that um, you know I always want to talk to people about because I think there's an expectation of coming back very quickly. And those first weeks after delivery are some of the sweetest in my experience. Um, you know, whether you're a first-time parent or it's a new baby, it's so exciting to have this this beautiful child and uh, who is such a blessing in your life, but it can be shocking and confusing and sort of hard when your body is going through so much and, you know, looks so different and feels so different and doesn't always fit in with that sort of image that I think, um, 
and pressure that a lot of us feel from society that to look, you know, right after delivery as if you never had a child. That's not realistic and it isn't normal. And, you know, it's just something I, I want to make sure that people understand and don't expect because it creates a lot more sort of emotional, emotional hardship and things like that. So just being patient with your body and knowing that you need that time to rest and heal. And it can be pretty tough because babies, um, especially newborns, don't sleep a lot. So you have to learn how to function on a really small amount of sleep. And I think, you know, for myself, one of the ways that I've gotten through that process was by drinking a ton of water. Um, I breastfed all of our little ones. So making sure that I'm eating a ton of healthy food, um, good calories for me to keep up my breast milk production, I need to make sure I'm eating a lot of protein, a lot of healthy fats, and like heavy calories, especially in the evening going into those long stretches because the night is long when you're not getting any sleep and you have a little baby that, that wants to nurse all the time and is waking you up. I know it's hard, it's hard for all parents that time. Um, and it's temporary, it doesn't last forever. We're sort of just starting to come out of it now, which is, which is really wonderful, um, where he's starting to sleep a little, give me, give me those longer stretches in the night. So I'm so thankful for that. Now, from a workout perspective, you one, just like with your prenatal fitness, you wanna really touch base with your doctor and work closely with them because what you don't wanna do is push your body too hard, too fast. So sort of the um, recommendation that most doctors would make is that after six weeks, that's when you typically have your um, first postnatal doctor visit and check-in, and many people are cleared to begin gentle exercise at that time. Now, just because you're cleared to work out doesn't mean that you're ready to do something really intensive. So I think from there, it's one, getting to the point where you're cleared to exercise, and then two, what do you do once you get there? And that's where um, our postnatal series comes in, where we're building out and expanding a library of videos for you guys to meet you where you are um, with various stages from that first stage to the more advanced stages of your postnatal journey but looking at that as a chance to get your body moving in moving again but also with really the focus on strength building strength and building that foundation. So when I'm starting my postnatal workouts, a lot of times too, you have a baby. And I remember getting so excited. Okay, finally the baby's asleep. I took a shower. I actually am not wearing pajamas. Whatever it is, you know, I get out my phone. I'm like, I'm going to take, you know, here, let me take a quick selfie and talk about this, I can't believe it, I'm so excited to work out. I get three minutes into the workout and the baby would wake up. So you have to also have a lot of patience and um, flexibility just in how you start approaching those workouts. And we're building workouts with that in mind for you. So, you know, it could be three minutes, it could be five minutes. When you start, maybe you do five minutes, you get the baby, you feed the baby, you get this baby settled. Um, I don't have a bouncer or anything like that down here because he's a little bit big for that now. But you can see I have a little play mat. So if Emmanuel's joining me, whatever stage the baby's at, if you're able to squeeze in a little bit of a workout when they're infants, maybe you have them in a little bouncy chair. Um, and you can, even if you do five or 10 minutes a day, it's gonna get you started. Um, it's gonna get you moving again and help you through that process. So now that Manny's bigger, I set down a blanket with him, have a couple of toys, and usually I can get through five, 10, 20 minutes, sometimes even more. Also, I find as the baby gets a little bit bigger, it gets easier if you're sort of switching things up. So, you know, sometimes he'll get very animated and excited by watching me do a porta bra. And you know, earlier today he was following my hands when I had a, a set of the hand weights that I was using. Um, just being flexible, knowing that don't get frustrated. You have to come back to your workout again and again and again. Um, the baby is 
going to have a blowout diaper or get too tired and start to cry or, you know, something else is going to come up and you're going to have to take a break. So whatever it is, be flexible, be patient, and just know that that consistency coming back to your workouts each day, each time is really the way to um, get it done and make it happen. And whatever that is that you're experiencing, you know, it's totally normal. You're not alone and just learning I think too, for me, part of uh, motherhood has been learning to kind of relax um, about things and, and understand that even though I might prefer to have a full hour of really focused time where it's just about me and my body, that might not be what I'm gonna get. So work with what you have and get it done and make it fun and don't ever hesitate to bring that baby um, put them down on the mat with you, you know, the baby, give the baby, when they're really little, like I'd put him down, we work on tummy time, now you can see he's working on crawling, he's, you know, could happen today right here on set, we'll see, but but just make the baby a part of it, um, be gentle with yourself, and remember, drink a ton of water, but also, hopefully, have a lot of fun.